A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys, um, today we are going to talk about the color transform class. Because I made a program, um, what it does is, the text that you see on the screen right now, it says uh, lessons with Mohit. It's going to change the color of the text every single second to a different color. And even I can't predict which color it will be. It will be a different shade uh, after every one single second. So we'll talk about that in detail, but first let's take a publish preview and show it to you. So a control enter on my keyboard, guys. Uh, let's see. Let me take a full screen preview. Okay, guys, as you can notice, uh, the text which is lessons with Mohit is changing color every single second. Right. Okay, guys. Um, let me briefly show you my action script so we use the color transform class we use a timer which uh, fires off every one single second guys and um, I've used a, a very small program out here okay inside the timer and that is responsible for this uh, dynamically changing the color of the text and I've uh, obviously used the math.random function to generate a random color cool uh, I'm sure it uh, hasn't made much sense uh, yet so what I'll do is I'll embark on this uh, project afresh on a in a new file so I'm gonna say file on new come on uh, what's wrong <laughs> flash seems to be stuck yeah here it comes let me say okay Right. The first thing that I'll do is I'll change the color of the stage to black and then I'll click on the text tool guys. I'll make sure that it's set to classic dynamic. I'll click uh, on the stage and I'm uh, this time let me say lessons with Mohit. Okay. Right. alright yeah now uh, let me place it roughly in the center of the stage and let me increase the font size a little bit uh, let me increase it further yeah that should be fine alright and let me give it an instance name guys the name with which uh, the action script will uh, reference it let me call it uh, my text my text underscore txt cool let me get inside the actions panel and start coding guys let me call the first layer text and let me insert yet another layer let me call it as3 where i'm going to place the action script 3 guys cool let's start coding right guys uh, <coughs> let's talk briefly about variables now variables always start with the the keyword var and then you have the name of the variable let me give it a name uh, let me say uh, my color of the type now guys you see not only can uh, variables hold numbers they can hold strings they can hold sounds they can hold effects and uh, they can hold the time as in uh, the timer class and they can hold colors all right so this specific variable my color is going to hold a color cool so the variable that holds the color is always of the type color transform so i'm going to say a color transform right and uh, make it equal to new color transform and guys now I have got multiple arguments that I need to feed in to get my new color beg your pardon 
Oh, oh, come on, behave. Right. So we have the red multiplier, the green multi. Uh, what's wrong? <laughs> this is not happening the green multiply the blue multiply the alpha multiply the uh, the red offset green offset blue offset the alpha offset right so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna touch the first four values I'm gonna keep them at their defaults so the red the green the blue multiply and the alpha multiply I'm gonna keep them all at one okay I'm not gonna disturb that's a trick guys okay so now that I've set the red, green, blue and alpha multiplier at 1, what I'm going to disturb or alter is the red offset, the green offset and the blue offset. Okay. Now guys understand the red, green, blue multipliers, the alpha multipliers, the red, green and blue offset and the alpha offset, all these can have different values and they come together to form a color or a shade. It's very, very complex. But we'll keep things simple. We'll keep the first four uh, arguments or parameters uh, absolutely at the default and we'll only alter the red offset the green offset the blue offset and we'll skip the alpha offset we'll keep it at default rather we'll not touch it at all we are allowed to skip it that's fine okay now guys the red multiplier the green multiplier the blue multiplier and the alpha multiplier can acquire a value between 0 and 1 and as you can see I've kept them at 1 cool now the green offset blue offset uh, alpha offset and the red offset can acquire a value between minus 255 and plus 255 okay they kind of add or reduce the redness the greenness the blueness and the opacity okay I'll completely do away with the alpha offset but I'll surely surely touch the uh, red offset the green offset and the blue offset and let's see how will I do it okay so guys what I want to do is I want to generate a random number between minus 255 and plus 255 and let it then you know uh, do whatever it wants to do and create a random number the way it wishes so every time I'll have a different shade okay so this is how I it can be done I'm gonna say math dot random okay now when I say math dot random guys it always generates a random number between 0 and 1 but if I multiply it with the uh, 510 and then say minus uh, 255 now guys if you actually trace this formula random number between 0 and 1 when multiplied with 510 and has 255 reduced it will always generate a number which is between plus and minus 255 you can test it out guys right and then a comma out here then guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this much Control C, Control V, Control V. Okay. So what I've done is, in effect, I have instead of uh, giving values uh, for the red offset, the green offset, and the blue, you know the blue offset, I've actually generated uh, random numbers between z uh, minus two fifty five and plus two fifty five. That is the range in which uh, they are supposed to be. All right so guys every time it'll have a different random number and these random numbers will then mix together okay and they'll form a different shade right cool now guys uh, <coughs> let me then uh, fetch the instance name of my text field go back to the actions panel okay and then I'm gonna say my text field dot transform property guys we have a property the transform property just as we have the alpha property the the uh, visibility property the button mode property the hide property we also have the transform property and uh, it's self-explanatory guys it's going to transform something what is going to transform color transform basically the transform property has a sub property called color transform okay guys not only is color transform a class it's also a sub property of the main property transform cool right and I should make it equal to what should I, should I make it equal to obviously my color 
and my color is a variable that holds the color that will be generated because of the three random numbers right very very cool okay let me test whatever I have uh, created okay test it a second time a different shade guys let me test a third time a different shade a fourth time control enter produces a different shade and here it goes the fifth time produces a different shade and uh, the sixth time so guys no matter how many times I test it it should generate uh, three different random numbers and uh, three different shades right so guys what I'm gonna do is instead of you know saying control enter again and again that's a good idea if I can actually encapsulate this code inside a timer function okay so let's create a timer function then so I'm gonna say variable timer of the type timer okay so I'm instantiating a timer creating a new instance of a timer so I'm gonna say new timer okay now oh guys, uh, variables of the type timer can store the time to be specific, the delay and the repeat count. Uh, all I'm going to say is just the delay. So I'm going to keep it at 1000 milliseconds. Alright. Then I'm going to say timer dot add event listener. Timer event dot timer. I'm really getting help with the code hinting. And uh, then name of the function timer handler. Cool. Then I'm going to define the function timer handler. Right, control C, control V, and uh, then pass in uh, a few few parameters, namely event colon timer event. Right, a colon void, because this function will not calculate and return a value. And then, guys, all I need to do is inside this function I just need to copy and paste what we had uh, written earlier okay right so this timer will fire off uh, every 1000 milliseconds guys and uh, will produce a new shade for us amazing but guys just creating a timer is not enough you need to start the timer but timer dot start method right parent parent semicolon let's save the file go for it uh, go for it test the movie wonderful guys so guys as you can see uh, we are getting a different shade of the text every single second we have used the random function we has, we've used the timer class we've used the color transform class let me dig inside the actions panel once again and quickly do a recapitulation all right guys we have used the color transform class the timer class as well okay we have created a timer that fires off every 1000 milliseconds and executes the function timer handler now the function timer handler what it does is let's see we have a variable my color which then stores uh, a new color every time it fires off with the help of uh, math.random guys we are able to offset the red the green and the blue colors between minus 255 and plus 255 right and uh, which means that every time my color is going to store a different shade now using the transform property and color transform sub property we're going to attach it to the text field and we're going to make it equal to my color now my color holds the shade and so this shade gets transferred to the text field through the transform property color transform sub property right it's not very simple it's not like it's not like uh, you know the alpha property which does not have a sub property the transform has a sub property which is color transform we're gonna start the timer to kick it off okay to launch it and guys we are done control enter on the keyboard to test it once again feels good uh, when I see that I've done something nice something useful Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please implement it on your projects. It shouldn't be too difficult. You have a good day uh, guys. Peace. See you soon.